one of the key areas was about accessibility of talking about dignity. So some people that I spoke to said that they had never really used the language of dignity before. It wasn't something that they talked about, you know, in their everyday language. But the overwhelming view was that dignity language was universally accessible. So in the interviews, dignity was described as a bridge, as something that could be useful for communicating around human rights law, especially for people working with minority groups and other groups um, that had been marginalised. A few were concerned that dignity was an ambiguous idea, but everyone supported the inclusion of dignity explicitly in the new legislation. People talked about dignity in lots of different ways. Um, people talked about respect, voice, fairness, recognition, power, citizenship, humanity. I've put on the slides here, I think what is possibly my favourite quote from the research, um, where dignity was described in this very visual way as an onion. Um, and, and this person said, you know, as we start to peel away those layers, we start to see all of these different elements. And dignity might not mean just one thing, but it captures all of these different ideas, even down to things like behaviour and culture. Um, if you cut through the dignity onion, you would see it all. 